How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ruffle Rallet, and welcome back to a brand new video, guys. Today, we've got some news about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, as there is a brand new patch that's going to be coming out. It's going to be called Patch 3.0.1, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we're going to take a look at exactly what the deal is with it here. It was posted over on Cerebi. They've also made a few tweets about it. For example, they tweeted out saying, Update Pokemon Scarlet and Violet version 3.0.1. So this is a patch update coming out. Has been announced for late January 2023. Features a fix for a bug where the game stops receiving inputs after leveling up in K. Okay, and another regarding the TM materials, details at Cerebi. And then here they also update us saying that the Cerebi update, a new distribution. So yes, a new giveaway is going to happen because of this. So apparently a new distribution has been announced as an apology for an oversight regarding TM creation. 10 TM223 metal sound will be distributed to all players through Mystery Gift from December 26th. So December 26th, if you can't seem to get your hands on a TM uh, you know, 223 or metal sound, if you can't get it, well, this is the reason. It's uh, literally bugged. It's impossible to make uh, in the game, which I wasn't even aware of because I haven't really needed TM metal sound myself. But it's very interesting because they never do this. If they make a bug happen, they leave that bug in. Like, that is very commonplace for them to just leave a bug in, not really fix it, and let players just deal with the issues of it. But apparently, they're going to be fixing it this time around, which is uh, a little bit odd. I'm not going to lie. It's a bit strange. Um, and it kind of reminds me and a lot of people of what they've been doing with uh, specifically Pokemon Go, right? So here's another update on it, um, on some other details that, you know, maybe are not in the tweets. Saying that, basically, um, let's go from the bottom right here. We have the all the full details. So some new bugs have been acknowledged in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. First, if you level up Inke using Candy under level 30, the game will stop receiving inputs, which I guess pretty much means that if you try to level it up at that point, it, your game is not going to be able to actually receive any inputs from your controllers, right? In addition to that, TM223 is requiring Shield on parts despite Shield On not being available in Pokemon Scarlet. As such, this will be adjusted. This will be fixed in a patch due out in late January. So, yeah, that seems a little bit unfair, to, you know, for players. Um, and I guess that explains the bug, because I guess if you're playing Violet, you should be fine. Um, but if you're playing Scarlet, you literally cannot get the, get the move. Like, you literally cannot. Um, unless, of course you interact with someone who's going to put the Pokemon onto another Pokemon and then trade it to you, which is a little bit weird to begin with, right? I mean, is it just me or is that a little bit strange? But either way, moving on. So they also then, of course, announced the part here of, you know, a new distribution event for Pokemon Scarlet Violet as an apology. Wow, the first time they're apologizing. Uh, for two TM223, requiring materials only available in one version of the game, 10 TM223 panel sound will be distributed from December 26th, all right? Um... Uh, 2023 through mystery gift received via internet it will be available until 20 uh, 3.0.1 releases which will resolve the oversight so i guess they're gonna give that out it's gonna be a bit of waiting time before that actually happens i'm guessing um but yeah and also here it said late uh, late january 2023 i think it's late 2024 what they what Cerebi means to say here i think it's a in incorrect like um like just a mistype basically um but yeah so i want to just have a, a little bit of an opinion on this right i'm gonna put it like this I think this is so funny because there are so many things that they could definitely easily fix. Like, and I know this is such an easy one because literally a mystery gift for them is like a, the click of a few buttons to happen, right? It's not like a, a difficult uh, thing to, for them to make happen. But what I think is ridiculous is the fact that like they're doing what Pokemon Go does. Pokemon Go, whenever Niantic messes up, and they mess up all the time. And whenever they mess up really big, right? When they mess, and, and when I say really big, I mean moments where they made people pay for something and then they mess up the, the actual like, you know, event itself and nobody gets the thing they paid for. Whenever they do something like that, not always, but a lot of times they do have to apologize, come back in and fix the thing that they messed up. Like all the time. It's such a common thing at this point. It's actually kind of ridiculous, to be honest with you guys. Like, it is genuinely a bit funny. Um, like, straight up, it's a bit funny. But at least, you know, they're going to be doing something about it. I'm happy that for once they, they you know, they, they, they will be doing something in the official games as well. But I hope this doesn't become, like, the norm, okay? I don't want them to always just be making mistakes and then being like, it's fine, we can keep the mistakes in, we're just going to fix it later. Like, I don't like that concept. Personally, I would prefer if they just made a good product from the beginning, put that good product out first, 
and didn't have to deal with any issues. But nonetheless, if you want to get this, you're going to have to stick around until the 26th. So if you're playing Pokemon Scarlet, this is probably going to be very useful for you. And if you guys want me to go through... I would like to make a video actually today, maybe covering all the different events you guys should go and get your hands on, all the mystery gifts and stuff you guys should get your hands on before they run out. Because very soon, a lot of these events are going to be ending, uh, a lot of the old ones, right? So for example, the outbreaks, uh, the Master Ball, the free Master Ball you can get, everything. All these events will be ending not very, like, you know, not too long from now. So I think it's the best time to go and get your hands on um, on all these things if you haven't already. So, yep, that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.